This glove lets you shoot lightning from your fingers and electrocute people on contact. Originally this video was just going to be a taser handshake, but that quickly changed when I got one of these. This is a 9 volt battery powered taser. <laughs> and after testing it, I quickly realized I could use it to shoot lightning between my fingers. And here's how I did it. This is a very simple project, in theory. In practice, it involves struggling with 3D printed snap together bullshit, hot glue, and not electrocuting myself. At first I was going to use a normal rubber glove, but that was before I realized the taser was strong enough to go through a rubber glove. Alright. <laughs> Which in hindsight I probably could have guessed, but that gave me a better idea. I could use a 3D printed glove to mount all the pieces onto that which would be way easier, and then I could just, like have way less risk of electrocuting myself as long as I don't touch both metal pieces at the same time. Which happened a lot, so I found this model by... Mkotsamains? That's what we're going to be using as our glove. The model will be linked in the description for anyone who cares. So once that's been printed, all we have to do is assemble it. No coding sh or anything, which makes this my least nerdy video. I think. Anyways, here are the schematics. I tried to make it look as much like a hand as I could so you can see how it parallels the actual product. There's a hot wire attached to the thumb, and then on the end of each fingertip there's a ground wire. So, when you move the thumb close enough to one of the ends of the fingers, yeah, it arcs between them. What does it do that though? Let's talk a little more about this taser. First off, this isn't really a taser, it's a high voltage generator. And a high voltage generator, if you know anything about circuitry, is a transformer. Transformer, without going into details, takes an input and then it outputs a generally higher voltage. In this case, the output is high enough that when you move them both close enough together, it arcs. Don't know why I did that, this is not Howard. This is also the point where I should tell you to not try this at home, and if you were thinking about it, you should not go to Amazon.com and search up 3 to 6 volt high voltage generator. Then find the one that begins with UM Life. Which, by the way, this marks my most expensive video. I'm clocking in at around $13 because this was not just made with trash from around my house. In fact, it actually came with six of these, so it cost more like $3 because I only used one of them. Anyways, I hot glued a taser to the side of the glove, then a breadboard to the top, and then a battery to the back. Which was all so much easier said than done, you don't know the hell I went through to put all that glove pieces together. Which was not to the fault of the model maker, it was to the fault of me being a dumbass. Still, it broke me for a bit. Regardless, if we put that all together, it looks something like this. Battery's kind of dead, which is why this isn't arcing as much. But if it would, it'd arc way more if it was charged. Sorry if I scared you. I know it's not good. I took the breadboard off, by the way. Uh, I know it's not good, but it does work which is better than I can say for most things about on this channel. I also know that someone smarter than cooler than me could make this way better. In fact, if you think you could do better to make this, then try it, and then I can watch you fail. Dude, I, can, I, I don't know. I'll, thanks for watching. I'll hopefully see you in less than a month.